Hello everyone. So I just wanted to show off the rapid prep mandolin. Um, Karen had messaged me yesterday and I didn't see it till late. Um, so I didn't, wasn't able to give her a, like a heads up on how this comes apart, goes together, whatever. Okay. So this is the rapid prep mandolin and this is how it sits, um, in storage. So it just barely sits on the top and how you're going to do it is you see how this part is sticking out a little bit further. <clears throat> that part, I usually have, this is the, um, the part that you put the food in. So I usually put this on one side and it's usually on that side. It fits right in there, right easily. And then all I do is look to where these, these pop down and I set this on the opposite way just like that, so it's easy, stored all together. So then when you're ready to use it, you're gonna take it apart. Here's your pieces, you got your four pieces. So this easily opens up, just like that. It's got your settings that you can adjust how thick or thin, if you want diced, if you want fries, if you want um, thin potato slices like for chips or if you want more of a steak fry this adjust for um, the amount of if you want it diced how small you want it diced so it can it has many options and it's very safe to use most mandolins are dangerous <laughs> okay so you take your food catcher it's a simple clear thing and it goes on one way and it's easy to remember because it's got a little grip here for you to hold so that goes in just like that. It clicks right in, just like that. So then your food catcher and your food, uh, not your food catcher, um, this is protects your hands and it serves purpose of um, pushing the food through for you. So you set the clear part right on here, the bottom part in first. I lift up the lever and it goes, it's on. This also has some nice um, sticky, um, things on the bottom so that it doesn't go jumping across your counter. This is the food pusher. So your hands can go right in here. It's nice and safe. You're pushing your food down like this, okay? So next up, you turn this and push it down and turn it and it pops up. And what happens is that opens up your blade. So now we have, and this is the action it's going to you're pushing your food into the blades and it's chopping as you're going. I was trying to think if I had something here that I could quickly throw in here and I do. I have an apple. So I will quickly core it. And then we'll shove it through. All right, so this is my apple wedger. I don't know if you've seen this. I've used this quite a few times, but um, I've got my apple here. I'm gonna take the protector off the bottom. This thing is super sharp. Do not get your fingers in this part. And when you hold it, you have to hold it like this, and it's best to do this motion to push it down. And I always look away because I always get sprayed in the face. <laughs> so I set it down on an even surface. I keep my hands and my fingers out from underneath this edge. You wanna make sure that you have them protected. I push the center right down where the core is and I'm just gonna push it down. There you go, all right. So now I'm just gonna shove these apple pieces in here so that I can show you how easy it is to maneuver the rapid prep mandolin and I'm not a big person and it's not easy to, it's not hard to use. All right, so I've got my food in there. Now we're going to, I don't know, I don't even know what setting we have it on. Oh, well. okay, so we're gonna push the food in like this, and then I'm gonna move this at the same time. Done. So if you're making, um, Scallop potatoes, potato soup, anything with potatoes, onions, broccoli, anything that you have to chop, um, cabbage for coleslaw, this is what you need. So 
Super cool. It looks like I'm having apple with my breakfast. I hope everybody enjoyed the demo. Um, this is the Rapid Prep Mandolin. And to clean it, a lot of people, I had a host that was complaining about the cleaning of it. All right. So I run water over it. You can run water over it no matter which way. And it helps if you turn it upside down, run water on it to get the food out. This is your, this is what helps me clean this thing. And you can use a regular toothbrush. It doesn't have to be the Pampered Chef um, cleaning brush. But what you're doing is, you can see there's one piece that's still in there. Okay. So you've got some food stuff down in there. So when you run the water and you can see it's in the grates, I'm running the water and this is easily cleaning it out. And you can see that the water can run through everywhere. It's all like open. So it's easy to clean. Very easy to clean. I don't have any trouble with it. If it was hard for me to clean, I wouldn't use it. I'm not going to spend my day in the dishpan. Thanks for watching, everybody.